So that is most of what you need to know about the pen tool. How do you get rid of points you don't need? Well, as we've seen, you could on a selected uh, selected path, you could hover over existing points and minus them out of existence. But that does leave the paths there. What if you just want to get rid of things? Well, you could try using the path eraser tool. This only erases paths and you simply paint over the bits you want to erase. But uh, I have to say, I'm not a big fan of this one. I really do like the eraser tool in most circumstances. So let's use the eraser tool. Shift E is the shortcut. And you paint over what you no longer want. It's quite effective. If you need it bigger or smaller, use the square brackets on your keyboard. And then you can get bigger erasers for quicker work. Another alternative is to use the direct selection tool to drag a box over the points you don't want, then press the delete key. And if you if the points you want to select aren't in a box, use the lasso tool instead, and then you can select any collection of points you like and just delete those without having to select a box. I'm going to undo a few of these deletions to get back to where I was. Now, sometimes you may wish to join some things selectively. So if I want to take this shape here, I'm going to click on the edge and move it over a bit. And maybe I'll just erase the edges there. Whoops, I really do need to break that apart a bit first. So I'm going to lasso the edge, press delete. There we go. And now I'm going to tidy it up with the eraser. Okay, I'm also going to erase the end of this. Whoops, now you'll see it didn't actually work there. I need to have it selected before I can erase. And you'll see again, it's kept the fill. So I'm going to need to break it apart first by selecting a point or two or just a line. And then I can erase to neaten things up if I want to. What I can do though is use the lasso or direct selection tool to select two points on different objects. So this one and this one are both showing up as solid and selected. And then press Command J to join them together. This is a handy, handy way to make two objects one. And then I can treat them as one object. For example, I could fill them with the same color. So bear a few things in mind about erasing. While the eraser tool is more fun, it won't convert a solid object, or sorry, a a closed object into an open one. You may still need to delete some points before you're able to do that. And you can try using the path eraser tool to delete some points. That did actually work, but I still prefer using the eraser tool for the most part myself.